So what's the best way to copy and paste from ChatGPT into a Google Doc or a Word Doc? I'm gonna show you in this quick video. So I pulled up an example here where I asked it to produce an eighth grade science lesson, and it did a pretty nice job. I really like the outline format that it has. I like the bolded titles here. I like the dots uh, for the bullets. The best way I found to copy and paste this is to click and highlight. So I'm gonna click and drag and highlight like this. And then you can right click or you can do control C on your keyboard. I'm gonna right click here and do copy. Then you need to open up a Word document. So I'm gonna open up Microsoft Word. And here, when I right click, I have some options. The first option, if I just hover over that option, it says keep source formatting. If I do that, it does a fine job as far as it looks the way I want to, but it has these boxes all around that that's copying over from the internet. So I don't want those. Move one more option over to the right, merge formatting. I found that this is the best way to do it. So if I click merge formatting, let's take a look at what it looks like. You can see now it really did retain a lot of the look of that outline that I liked. And now this is a good starting point. So as of May 10th, 2024, when I'm making this video, this is the current best way to copy and paste, in my opinion, over into another document. So you might've noticed if you're on ChatGPT, there's a copy option right here. I don't like this option because if I copy that and I go back here, I get rid of this. If I try to paste, I only have one option here and that's keep text only. And that's not really preferred because it doesn't keep any of the formatting. As you can see, if I do that, I lost my bolded titles and the bullets don't look the same and are also putting these extra asterisks in. Again, I'd have to go in there and, and modify all that and I'm really looking to save myself some time. And so I don't wanna have to go in there and do extra editing. Likewise, if I'm in a Google Doc, as you can see right here, when I do paste, I have paste or paste without formatting, either one really produce the same exact result. So that's not really preferred. So next, let's do what we did in the beginning of this video with my solution is, I'm just gonna click and drag. There we go. I'm gonna copy that. Let's go to, to Google Docs and see what happens. So now if I right click, I only get two options. I get paste and paste without formatting. So if I do paste, let's see what happens. Paste looks pretty good, it's pretty close, but it doesn't retain those bold headings that I liked. If I choose paste without formatting, it results in this. Again, that's a lot of extra editing I have to do, and I'm trying to avoid that. One final thing we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna take this Word doc that we have here, and I'm gonna use this option right here. This is the one we liked. Make sure it has a title. I have to close it first. Then I can go into my files, and I know it's right here. So I'm gonna click that and drag it into my drive. So once you know where the file is, it's right here in my case, I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna drag it over into my drive like this. Then it says it's uploading and we'll see what that looks like when it converts it from a Word document into a Google Doc. So it's right here, it's already done. I'm gonna click it and let's see if it retained all the information we wanted to with all the headings. So you can see now it did actually copy over the bold headings, which is what I wanted. And it looks a lot more identical to that Word document. So unfortunately, if you're somebody that likes to work in Google Docs, you're gonna to have to do that extra step of creating it, copying and pasting into Word first, saving it, and then dragging that into Google Docs. Hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know if you have any questions. You can always email me at kbolendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. Till next time, have a great day.